Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Christian from Berlin. Today is going to be a fun lesson. We're going to learn improvising some great lines over a drum track. That's more fun, more motivation. You learn easier. I will play, you repeat, I will play, you repeat. And everything you learn today, you can also uh, play over the standard 12 bar blues. That's the great thing. We're going to improvise over a popular form you all know. Uh, more to that later. Also, I will show you uh, a great intro for your personal blues that you can put in front of your blues and that makes it sound so much more luxurious. And I will put the drum track in the back as a bonus so you can improvise over that after this lesson. There's sheet music for this. Um, the volume uh, includes several lessons already. It's really great value. Go buy it, support my channel. You can buy it in the text box that's linked there. Uh, what more? Well, let's go. Enjoy. Today's lesson, uh, today's lesson is built on a very famous form, an eight bar form from the song Fever. It's not gonna be a tutorial on Fever. I did a tutorial on this song Fever. I will link it down in the, in the text box if you want to learn it. But I will play it once um, for you to get a feeling for the form and then we go improvising on top of it. So let's go, we have a band on board, band, please play. We only have three chords, wonderful. We have a couple of chords on the C minor seven. You don't need to play the chord in the left hand because I want you to feel all three in the right hand to um, join as soon, as fast as you can in what I play and copy what I play. If you're good enough, you can play the chords. We have uh, the C minor seven. We have the A flat seven and the G seven. A flat seven again, here we have the root, the major third, and the minor seven, and the going down to the dominant of C minor, the G seven, which you know all along. Now, we start of course with a sneaky little uh, blues piano, a blues scale line. And what we're gonna do is, I repeat it three times. To and our first line. Three and four and and then we steal something. What a lovely way to burn. That is going to be played at the end of uh, of the three uh, blues scale lines. We have a band today. It's called the Apple MacBook uh, Trio. To join in as fast as you can. Uh, with the right hand, and don't forget. Okay, here we go. That's your job for today. Band, go. And. and two, and three, and four, and. One, and two, and three, and four. Framework. What a lovely way to burn. One more time. Okay. And two and three. Yes. You got it. You know. 
forward coming and framework the choir wonderful yes that is the procedure for today and we go right to the next line it's another cat-like um, stealthing uh, but we start not on the root this time but we go move a little further up and it's this one And slow. It's just the blue scale. And then in the end, it's our little thing again. Now with rhythm. You come in as fast as possible. Focus, people. Okay. Two, three, four. One more time, come on. On G, get ready. We go on tiptoeing a little bit <coughs> and we use the blue scale and we do it in a different way now and the, this time the tiptoeing up the stairs is getting punished with a cat's claw gives it some excitement now it's gonna be this one tiptoeing Management. And ready? Steady band play. Two, three, four. people everybody now And this is the perfect moment to make you aware that everything you learn in this lesson um, on the fever form, you can use in your private blues. Example, the tiptoeing. See, all of it you can use over the blues form. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now we sneaked up a little bit. It's time for the first energy drink. Play this one. Ending with a little bit of blue scale. Ready? Band, go play. Two, three, four. Two, 
time. Ready? Get ready. Now, of course, for teasing and for this kind of atmosphere, two uh, sounds I would not miss to play. First is the trill, and the second one is this. Very much Pink Panther like. Um, first, the trill. Yes, it's easy blues piano course, it's an easy blues piano course, but your left hand has a day off. You can take this and um, whatever, put it under your left foot. And uh, so you can as well try. Try as good as you can to play the trill. And if you cannot play the trill, but first I'll play the whole thing and then you can decide. Then we have this, this sound, simultaneously. It's not a swipe, it's simultaneously. And blue scale. So we have the trill. And then, if you cannot play the trill, I suggest you do the following. Yes. This way you have it in a triplet pattern. Yes, and you have to jump a little bit faster than you would usually jump over your um, street in front of your house. Okay, shall we do it? Uh, so, in, uh, the with trill it. Mm -hmm. It's getting a little bit harder now, but it's still easy because your left, day, uh, left hand is on holiday. Band, play. And. time try it Trill. Trill stop Trill stop Okay. okay, now we're adding another uh, Gatorade flavor, maybe um, strawberry garlic, because uh, we're using a couple of more notes and our beloved, uh, the royal thirds, but in minor. You know, you know they're in major, but they exist in minor too. And this is great. Look at this. One, two, three. Use my finger setting because we have to be fast here. One, two, four. And one, three, five. So this must be your standard finger setting because we're having a quick upbeat. Um, and then the whole figure will be one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one. Two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and so on. You're supposed to join me when I played with a band. Apple band. And two, and three, and four, and... And here we 
played one octave higher this time. Three and four and... And four and... And four and... And we played here. Time for some octaves, but not just octaves. With a just a little trick, we make octaves so much more interesting. And it's gonna be like that, that. What is the trick I was talking about? It's um, between the octaves, we put just one note and we have another rhythmic tool to make this um, a little bit more complex and sophisticated and it doesn't cost us much. So it's a little upbeat. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three. Now if you um, if you're a little bit daring, you do the you try the tremolo. That's a very nice thing here to do on the E flat. And uh, of course, the difficulty is to stop the tremolo just in time. One and two and to be in time on the offbeat, on the two and. Okay, that's very exciting. These kinds of octaves. We start on the flat five. The blue note gives it a little bit more tension, and band. Please play. One and two and three and four. And we play it here. Again. Now if you can. With the uh, with the with the five in between. The five gives it an extra little punch. If you can play that, you are just fabulous. Now we're having two uh, new elements. First, we do a little bit of stabbing. What does it mean? It's like in fever, it's like, like fever, bop. It's a percussive uh, little attack. And uh, it's gonna be this element here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four second element one and two and three and four and we are now in higher energy territory so we don't play this one here we play a different resolution from a flat 7 to g7 let's see what that is you know you remember from my previous lessons of course you do because you're following my channel subscribe um we play the you know the sixth we have that in minor too and we make use of that it has more juice because we're now having two notes we are uh, resolving from a flat 7 with the we have the seven of a flat 7 so just you know you're you're aware of what you're playing not just following my orders blindly and we have the fifth we have the minor seven of a flat seven and the fifth and we're going down under uh, g7 and we're having the seven here and the fifth and resolving to the c minor minor third octave so it's basically one and two and three and four and one one more time the resolution one and two and three and four and one. Now, uh, you saw me play this one in the beginning. 
Many of you might think, wow, my hand is all cramping up now. It's so hard, Christian. How can you do this? You are a merciless bastard. I'm not. You can play this easily by now. And um, students tend to like think this is now really tough to adjust the thumb. Don't. Just stay relaxed and, and you just press the thumb with it. Uh, practice a little bit and then you will see it's a nice sound. Uh, if you're like sulking and you really uh, want to start a revolution, you just drop the C and you just play this one. And uh, you know, it, this is um, giving us a little bit of surprise and wakey wakey feeling for the audience if they um, like fell asleep over their martinis. Now, band, go play. Uh, and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Target these. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Target. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And resolution. One and two and three and four and one. One more time. Aim, aim now. One and aim. Two, three, the up, but the up. Aim. One and two and three and four and one and two and get ready here. One and two and three and four and one and two and resolution. One and two and three and four and one. So it was push it. Oh, there was this one. <laughs> one and two and three and four and one. Okay, sorry for that. And again, <coughs> and again, a short reminder. the message huh? again you can use it in your private sea blues in your private chamber okay now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you finally a wonderful intro uh, that you can put in front of your regular 12 bar blues and will sound so much more sophisticated will sound like a hundred trillion dollars even before you started your own stuff I played for you You start your blues. Okay, what is it? First, the mel right hand melody. I kept it simple and it's still very effective because the charm comes from the uh, chords wandering down. First, left uh, right hand. We just uh, move chromatically from the G. See? Chromatic really nice. I did a tutorial on how to, where to use chromatic scale in blues. Uh, no one really wants to see it, but it's very helpful. Okay. And we do the same again on F. Now on this one, we play the E7 here. And the E flat 7. And the last time we we start on the D7 and G7 and then the G7 finally as the turnaround. Let's do it again. Fear. Remember Now you might ask, Krishna, are you crazy? What is happening here um, with these, what is E flat doing there and E7? Um, they are all just passing chords and we can take it, we, we accept it because um, as I already mentioned in one of my last tutorials, we know, the brain knows, I hope your brain knows, I hope your brain knows anything, that we go, that will be befalling and we could never, of course, stop here. That would sound wrong. But we know from our listening experience 
um, that we are just going down to D7, which is what you've learned last lesson. So it's a kind of connection to the last lesson. A D7 is the dominant of anything G. G7 is the dominant of C. And so we get, uh, we finally fall softly into this dominant uh, little dominant circle. And so F7 is just, you know, preparing it. And from here on, we know we are falling softly here. And that's why it works. Again, one last time. And. And isn't that a beautiful final sound with the minor third rubbing its uh, hips to the major 30th. Mm, I just love it. And the G7 and then. You play and you've already, you've already had your listeners um, attention because you played this fine little intro. Now I hope you like this lesson and if you want to support this series to have many more parts also with your favorite topic then please leave your thumbs up that will support this video and uh, support this channel also and I say bye bye thanks for watching now is coming the um, backing track if you want to practice on it please feel free um, choose from Berlin stay safe <laughs>